Hey everyone, this is a video on how to get started with Crumble. We've had a lot of new updates since our last video, so let's get going. So first of all, create your board, um, just create a board on Trello, and then go to add your power-ups under the menu, and just click add power-up. You can search for Crumble, pops up right there, hit add, and you'll need to authorize Crumble. Um, it'll ask you about the boards and you just hit allow. And it's super easy to get started from here. You just hit start and you can add the sales pipeline right here. If you skip this step, there's a setting you can go in later to do that as well. Um, but from there, you can see all of all of the boards been populated now. So um, we don't need to worry about toppings right at this point. So here's your layout. You can see you've got onboarding, new leads, um, hot, warm, and cold. This list just gives you some specific details about how to use your board. So feel free to archive that um, when you're done with that. But these are your leads. You can see some example leads here and what they all look like. But let's go explore some more of these settings. So for instance, let's say you're coming over from another CRM and you wanna add your own leads. Um, super easy, just go over to leads and click import leads and choose an Excel file where you've got them. And I will look on my desktop for leads, just add that file and then you'll map it to where you want it to go. So these are the fields that are in my spreadsheet. So I can add in first name, I can add in last name, I can match my phone field, email, and um, leave it at that for the fields mapping. And then to map which list they go to, we want to use my deal stage column. And then from there, I can specify that uh, one should go into my one, add another one, new should go into my new leads list, and hot should go into hot. So this works out really nicely because I've already called them that, but uh, like they were already called that in my spreadsheet, but let's say this was called um, closed leads. It would be simple to map the values there to know that that equals one on my new list here. So that's super easy to do. Um, if you had any source fields, you can do the exact same thing where you basically say, if this field has this, it should actually equal this specific field. We don't actually have that on the spreadsheet, so we're just gonna skip that and hit continue. You can see a preview of the leads we're about to bring in and click finish import. Crumble does its thing. And so now you can see, we actually have these leads right here on our list. So super easy to see um, what we've got going on here. These are your Crumble fields. Again, from where we were importing, this is mapped out from our spreadsheet. So it's super easy to see. Let's say you wanna set deal value on this, Captain America, let's say he's worth $20,000. We can enter a deal value there and it now pops up on the card preview over here. Let's give Harry Potter a deal value as well. He's only worth 10,000. So we've got that. And what's cool about the deal value is when you go to Crumble and Dashboard, um, you can see lots of things, but one of which you can see the total deal value across your board. So this is a great spot to view all sorts of stats about your board, you can see a visualization of your funnel, how many leads you have in each area, um, a breakdown, and you can change this to look at specific dates or even by specific members. You can look at conversion rates between different pipelines. So super great way to do that. Um, and then lastly, I want to show you our toppings. So if you wanna get your leads into Crumble, Autom automatically moving forward, all you need to do is um, integrate with some of our toppings. So if you have a Google form, it's super easy to add a new Google form. You just select a Google, you just connect your Google account and then select the form that you want within there. Um, similar sort of process with Facebook lead forms as well as type form. And then if there's anywhere else that you want to get your leads into Crumble, but you haven't had a chance, or, but we don't currently have the integration built out here, um, you can go straight to Zapier and use the Zapier connection to make it all work. One more thing I want to show, um, you'll notice on each card, we default to the Crumble fields of name, surname, phone, email, company, job title, source, and date. Uh, let's say you actually want something different here. Um, that's super easy to fix. Just go to Crumble settings and Crumble fields, and you can add a new field. Let's say you want to 
be able to add where um, maybe you want to add their website. You can just type that right in there and you can check if you want it to show on the cards or not. Just hit add. And now you'll see we now have website as a field. You can add that right in there. A few other settings as you're playing around, if you want to customize the list names, you can add lists in here. You can delete ones. Um, you can also specify which ones are crumble lists. So if there's, for example, like a reference list or like that onboarding list you saw at first, you can tell it to ignore that list and not treat that as part of your pipeline. Um, you can also um, specify which list new leads go into. So when you set up connections with our integrations, it knows, oh, a new contact needs to go under new leads. And then lastly, you can also customize your sources here as well. So if you have a different way of collecting leads, um, a different specific marketing source you want to be able to track, you can just add that here. So feel free to reach out to us um, as you're getting started. If you have any questions, we would love to help.